What's up guys? It's Yasmin coming back with another video. Okay, so as you may know in my last video of what I have been doing, I have been trying to study Chinese. I've been trying to study Chinese. So I want to show y'all how I study. So it's not gonna be like oh uh, like you know, if you look up basic video and stuff like that. Like, I only have, like, I have two books and two apps on my phone. So, as of right now, this is all I have. And a notebook. I have a notebook. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, if you like, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you are new, and I am posting videos every other week so yeah let's get on to the video okay so before I start I just want to show you the books and apps that I have so here is the title the first hundred Chinese characters in simplified character edition so you just learn the first hundred Chinese characters and I, I've been doing, I've been doing pretty good on them. I have, I've been doing pretty good. And they're kind of easy, they're really easy. The next book I have is the Tuttle, Reading and Writing Chinese, third edition. So I just, I got this one last Monday, so I'm not really doing this one, but I'm gonna be trying to read it and stuff like that. Um, I got some I, Bayam markers from Amazon. These are really nice. Like I really like these. And I just got a notebook from Kroger. You know, I'm not done with it, but like I've been doing pretty good with my stuff. So yeah. So that's what I want to come into here about. And then now we're going to start the study time. Yeah. So that's what I'm about to do now. And get to it first app we're gonna look at is study chinese this app is very easy overall not a hard app to work with um it starts from beginner so elementary all the way to advanced i think and it has different levels 1 to 12 and it's very easy all you just gotta do is study 30 minutes a day and just helps your fluency and i just study this for like a good 30 minutes each day probably a little bit more like an hour more that's tops but it's overall good it gives you the pronunciations how to pronounce it how to write it and you get coins by that and you can use the coins for different things and yeah it's, it's just a good app i like it it's easy for anyone who's trying to learn it it's not that hard and yeah they do have a plus where you can uh, do tests and quizzes on them and more in depth, but I got the free one because I'm cheap like that. So yeah, but it's good. And I recommend this to anyone who's trying to learn it. So boop, bye.
老爷爷，这儿看看，那儿看看，他看到一只大猫。这只大猫很漂亮，老爷爷很高兴，又买了这只大猫。老爷爷，这儿看看，那儿看看，他又看到一只。小小猫，老爷爷说：“这只猫太漂亮了，我要买。”他又买了这只小小猫。Okay, okay. So I just finished New Chinese. Um, I'm reading this. Story called One Million Cats. It's about an old man and an old lady want to get a cat. The old man brings home one million cats. What will they do with all of them? So I just read that. The story is kind of good, to be honest with you. Okay. So now since I've studied on Super Chinese, I also have another app, but as of right now, I haven't been on it yet. But it is called. HSK online, so that's what I downloaded, but I haven't been able to get to it since I was gonna do Super Chinese. But when you get to the app, it's like a very good app. It's good. It's supposed to help you learn it way more. It's like a standardized test a little bit. It's a test, a standardized test for how you to read it and listen to it. And they give you like different studies, training you, vocab, self study, or you could do the HSK Companion Plus. And I, I'm thinking they help you, but I just have the self study, so I can study by myself. And they have different. They, you can take the actual test when your testing dates are, and you can listen to it. You can read it. Do vocab training, mock assessments. You need to do it, and then yeah, that's what you do with the app. So if you want it, I assume you get it. So that's what you. If you want that, then you get that. I just haven't been able to get to it yet. So yeah, I like the way I'm doing right now. But now we're going to be looking at. To see some, write some Chinese characters. So they're not that hard, but we'll see in a minute. As I just said a minute ago, it's not that hard. Uh, the book is the first hundred Chinese characters. I think there's like about three thousand in total, but this is the first hundred, and it's not that hard. They show you how 
to do it first and then just get the hang of it and it gives you time that's about it same thing just gives you definition what it's supposed to sound like and okay guys so i'm gonna do a little speaking time with yasmin a little speaking time with yasmin so i'm gonna try to do some a little you know right away I can introduce myself. So I'm trying to look at the Let's do it. Okay. Watch out. No. Watch out. Yasmin Campbell. Watch out. Watch out. Which I, I just said, I, I am Yasmin, I'm Yasmin Campbell, I, I'm a student, I think the last thing I just said was I am a student, I have to look it up, but I think I did, I think I did, I really think I did, okay, okay, let's do another one, whoa, I think I'm saying whoa, Sure. I think sure. Which means speak or talk. Ying Yu. Ying Yu. Ying Yu. Which means I speak English. So I think that's what I just said. That was a little study time I wanted to do a little bit. I know it was nothing much, but I thought it was pretty cool because I just spoke something. But yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in to my self-study with Yasmin Chinese, you know. Thanks for joining me. If you like, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Um, I'm going to be posting more of these, more introducing myself because I'm trying to get into it. And if I don't speak it and just learn it, I mean, it's a plus either way. But like, I want to speak it. I want to be able to know how to like talk to people more with it, and what they could help me with if they wanted to. And yeah, I just wanted to put that in there. Make sure you go like, comment, and subscribe if you're new and like this. Make sure you go look at all my other videos, and if you like them, stay tuned. Stay tuned for more, and don't forget. Love you and stay positive. Bye. So, as I said in the beginning of the video, this book is Tuttle, the reading and writing book. And it's a good book. It really is. It has the basic Chinese characters, which is about like a thousand of them. And it shows how they're written, what the definition is, examples of how they can be used in words. And it overall is just a good book. Now it shows you how they can be written, and it shows you the grammar, and you know, it's just an overall good book, a very good book, and I would recommend this to anyone who's trying to learn Chinese, but yeah, it really is good, best book, best book, but anyway, if you like this video, make sure you go like, comment, and subscribe on this video, and my other previous videos, if you have not watched them, make sure you go watch them, and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video which should be uploaded in about two days now and yeah make sure you go look at that one so yeah i love you stay positive and bye